Okay, welcome on back. We were in some pretty deep discussion there. Um, but basically, I started doing musings, and musings are where... Oops, before I get too far. Got excited, I did not set an alarm. Plus, this might get interrupted at any time. I'm supposed to... My kiddos are coming by. So, we shall see. I will do this musing up until... Yeah. So, anyways. Wealth inequality. Like, and I was just talking about how I usually go from these areas from place to place, and I destroy. I take, I pillage, I act like a Viking. You know, and that's another area of human nature that's a little less... Let's see, how many... Oh, we have 54 of those things. Ah, let's keep getting them. Like, that's what I like to do because I always feel like I have to keep going back and forth to go get more of something. So let's get a ton of Electro Quartz. Let's get more of this Basalt. I think we already used it. We did the upgrade that we needed for it, but just in case, we'll go ahead and grab more. Ooh, you can get... I didn't realize that. But we'll go back and we'll smelt better tools to land Lover's Leap. We'll go home. And home is subject to change. Like, we're just at Land Lover's Leap for now. But, like, it's basically wherever you go to, like, bring back... It's like the British Museum. You go to all these places, you steal their stuff, and then you bring it back home so you can admire it, and, like, it's, it's pretty messed up. But, like, that is human nature, too. I mean... I don't know. It's... It's ridiculous what people do. I mean... But it's, it's natural. Like, we are animals. We are... As only as good as our programming does. We like bright, shiny things. At times, we show traits like orcs and goblins, if you get into like that kind of gameplay. Like, you know, ooh, shiny rock or something. Like, you know, that's basically... Also, this is the peaceful way to build the portals. You don't have to kill enemies, which is kind of interesting. Like, you could clear out some of this, harvest this stone, and you can actually use this stone to build cool things. So, like, even though this stuff is kind of overrun... And so, and that's the other thing. You know, people that don't have access to video games, like, it's a little harder for them to comprehend the similar concepts to what other people are, are figuring out. So, specifically what I'm thinking of is Halo. If you play the game Halo, then you have an understanding of, co like, colonialization or colonization kind of similar to what we did in America. Like, we colonized this land. Oh, they got me. We colonized this land. Also, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to bring a Lumberjack Axe to that guy. This guy, Captain Rattlepike. So you can find your quest here. So we've got ongoing... It's time to take out the Slime Queen. Oh, we gotta go back to the Exterminator and collect our reward. Gotta bring an axe, we gotta get medicine. We gotta get a copper bow. Ooh, break a peg leg. We gotta get coal and cotton cloth so we can craft a peg leg for him. And we gotta open a chest. Open the inventory with, uh, and go to the map tab without use. Oh, so we got to return. So these are tutorial things. So these are all the, and then these are all the completed things we've done. So, and I've done all of these things, I want to say like four or five times at least. Because this game is so fun. You just get into it, like you go through a playthrough, and then before you know it, you've done all these quests, and you've been doing them for a while. And Yeah, let's actually go back to home. Okay. So we have quartz, we have coal, we have iron ore. So you can just... Oh, whoa! Undead graveyard. That's a fun one. Never mind, we're gonna go wherever that is. Sorry, I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. It's, it's one of the missions that they have. They have rotating quests that happen constantly. So let's see here. Well, let's go ahead and get to smel smelting some of this. Iron bar. Eh, we'll keep that, because I don't know what what all I need it for yet. Also, we've leveled up a couple of times. Oh, I got a new talent. Let's see, Poison Blades. The duration of damage over time by 100%. Ooh, adds a 10% leech chance to heal you for 25% of the damage dealt. That sounds good. Any element damage you use now matches the enemy's weakness by dealing void damage. Ooh. These are all really good. I'm going to take blood magic, though. I want to be vampiric, because that means I can steal their health, basically. And then attributes. We've got 18 points. Ugh. 
I don't even have any spells or anything yet. Let's just keep pumping it into... Wait, what does this do? Affects your striking power. Each point in strength increases damage caused by melee attacks and all shapeshift attacks. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. And then this. There we go, because I'm using blades. I'm not actually using ranged things. Let's see, this is the ranger's station, isn't it? Wait. Rogue station. So I have the elite ones I can make. Ooh, I need to upgrade this. That's what I need to do. So how do I upgrade it? I need the four. I have those things. Oh, I only have three. See, now I need to go back and get a palm tree. Well, luckily we're in a place that has palms, so we can go ahead and do that. See, it's so easy to get sidetracked. And actually, before we even do that, let's go to the... Let's deposit some of this stuff. Okay, that's fine. And then go to that thing. So, Undead Graveyard is in Autumn Springs. There we go. So, this is cool. So, every now and then, these events will happen to where... It's like you get invaded by the undead or something, or some evil magic happens, or some nefarious thing happens, and then you have to go and fight it, protect it, event, or do something with it. So this one, it had a picture of a chest, so that tells me that there's some riches to be had. But also, whenever these things happen, they usually bring with them some pretty interesting... Let's see, now this becomes... Oh, so right there, we already saw it. So they bring special stuff, like I can steal those flags, all the fences... Okay, we're just doing blue portal shards here. So we don't have to worry too much about fighting. I want to just steal all that stuff, defeat the enemies. Okay. <laughs> As I'm just talking about how we don't have to fight. And that's how you tower up that way. Like, yeah, I'm taking this. Oh. There we go. These ones you gotta be careful with because they curse you. Alright. And palm leaf, yes. Those are useful for things too. Let's see, so I'm going to take that. Take this stuff. This is all mine now. And now I can craft cool things with this stuff. I can make broken things. I can make... Like, spiky things. Like, I'm now taking all of this. Uh, maybe not so much this stuff, because this stuff... Well, the backpack's full. <laughs> so I'm going to need to make some decisions. And... I'm going to take this fountain, take this thing. So we can make like a graveyard if we want to. I don't know if I really want to make a graveyard. Like that doesn't seem like a fun thing, a fun use of this game. But, you know, we did do that memorial thing for Minecraft. So who knows? Maybe I will want to make a, a tribute to those that have fallen, the important people in my life. Not saying that people that haven't died aren't important. I'm just saying like, it's important to know that there have been a lot of people... Ah! I was about to say, that's going to be me in this game. Oh, yeah, he got me. But, <clears throat> it's just a sad reality. Life is fragile, and you need to... That's why it's so important that we get this right as fast as possible. Like, education. That's... Oh, and there are so many people out there with similar goals, and they now have access to tools to teach all around the world, and it's beautiful. It's YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of nonsense in there, too. I mean... That's just the nature of humanity. Do I want this thing? Water. I'm trying to think if that's really uh, something I need to concern myself with in this one. But anyways, I'm going to get back to stealing all this stuff. Actually, I'm going to defeat this one.
So it's all timing. It's like clock cycles and stuff. Ooh, that's silk, which we shouldn't be getting that until later. So that's kind of another cool thing why you want to do these things. It's because you can randomly find like items that you're not supposed to get until you're at a later island. Kind of like Wandering Traders, how there's still a way to get things earlier. Let's see. Also, I like these things. We do need to make room for that. What can we get rid of? We don't need water. I mean, water is pretty easy. And we're also going to need that, those flags, too. Now, oh, you want to come fight, eh? Now, the mages, I'm a little hesitant. I don't know if we can kill them. Ow. Okay, good. So I feel like I've had that in the past where they, they respawn unless you have like certain, maybe you need elemental damage or something, I don't know. But like I, I feel like I've had that problem before. Like if you just kill them with brute damage, they just keep respawning. So I don't know. Oh wait, these things are going to disappear. What else can we get rid of? Ugh. There we go. So that'll do one of them. <clears throat> oh, they're going to disappear. Silk. I don't need silk. Ah. Oh, well, they disappeared. So, whatever. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how smart it is to go down here, because that's a whole quest. I mean, there's going to be enemies under here, there's going to be things to loot under here. There's going to be... Alright. What is that? Baseball cap, nice. Every now and then you get random things like that. Oh, uh, and even what we're doing right now, grave robbing. Like this is another thing about humanity. Like we we wanted to respect our fallen so bad that we used to bury them with nice things, or bury them in a really nice box, or do all of these unsustainable or ridiculous things just because we weren't really showing respect unless we did these things to them, which is basically the way I see it. I mean, that's our understanding is like, also I like these statue things, is because, look at this, like, even though this is a game, this is still a reflection of human behavior and psychology, is we like to bury our dead with their, the things that we think that they would like, even though everything that we see leads us to believe that once you die, you're done. Like, your brain stops and, you know, you move on. Your body no longer continues to serve you as a vessel. And I think that's because people don't... Or it's too hard to grasp the idea of just stopping. Like, and then you get into, like, the Hinduistic idea or of um, reincarnation. It's not just exclusively to Hinduism, but that is, like, an idea. It's like, oh, well, we'll come back as something else. And then we'll get to experience this life as something else, like, say, a cat or a bug or, you know, it's hard telling. And then your time as a human, I don't know, it's all very... Also, there's copper. I almost wanted to go start harvesting that. Why did we even come here? This thing. We came here to steal this, and we did. We, we pillaged it. Okay, now we can go back. Let's go back home. Let's drop off our stuff. Ah. So, I don't know. It's just... 
there's no easy fix for all of this. It's like untangling a, a, a pile of cords. If you pull too quickly, or if you try to go too fast fixing a problem, you could break something else. Or, and that's why you gotta be careful, like blind spots, corner cases. We leveled up again, huh? I, I've been so bad at these things, alright. Also, now we have iron bars, let's see, we need to... Oh, go get palm trees, that's what we were doing. Also, let's go ahead and deposit some of this stuff. This is definitely an, a resource, you can make... You have to use this thing, an energy crystal builds like the powerful stuff, so like a baseball cap. <laughs> also bombs, that's kind of cool. But we'll go ahead and just put the resources in here. Let's see, we need the palm amber. Actually, wait, where did our... Okay, we do have the bars. So let's go, go get some of that blue amber stuff. Which you can get from palm trees. And then you need palm branches for something too. I forget what, but... Although it is funny because... Yep, right there. That's all we really needed. Because you can build an axe and do all this stuff, but I just do it all with this. I mean, there's no real reason to. And then plant more trees whenever... But see, it, it was needed, necessary for an upgrade. So like, randomly we need this palm amber. That's a big theme of this game, is you need these obscure resources that you have to get from the different plants and stuff. So then you have to go to different areas. And then if you forget, then you gotta go again. You know, all these things. So, but we have enough to upgrade, so let's actually, let's do it the lazy way. Boom. This just transports us right back there, and it's really quick. So... Upgrade the rogue station. See, there's a lot of intricate little things. It's like a dollhouse kind of thing. And there's gold, so... We need to go to the area where we find gold next, which is... Ooh, that looks pretty cool. However, now that it's upgraded, we get a whole new set of weapons. We can get the... Iron... Oh, excuse me. Iron assassin blades. So, wow, we actually have the teeth, too. Which we got from the ancient teeth you get from defeating mummies and zombies. Or the mummies. Battle gloves. Frostblade deals water elemental damage over time. Alright, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's a much po more powerful weapon than what we've been using. Yeah, see, 88 versus 52. And, yeah. So, that stands to reason that we'll drop off our old weapons here. I mean, and then you can see the evolution of it, too. Let's go ahead and put those up here and put this, like, there. Like, you got your very weakest, the very basic. Then you've got the next step, copper, and then you've got, like, stuff like that. And, yeah. And eventually we'll get... Hmm. Also, look at these things. They look cooler as you go on, like the cooler stuff. But anyways, what are we even doing? We need... Ooh, armor. We could also look at the new armor that you get. So... We're going to need a lot of ancient teeth, it looks like. For that stuff. What's this? Fire spirit? Okay. So we could do expert assassin stuff. This is all with Rogue Station 2. So then you can go back to Rogue Station 1 and do these things. Where you just need bones to get those. But Rogue Station 2, the armor is going to be a lot better. Like, what do we have now? Yeah, 23 for our shirt. And this one has 161. So basically, we need to keep an eye out for Fire Spirit. Wait, what's this? Linen Cloth. Wait. Cotton Cloth gets cotton. Linen Cloth. Wait. I thought it would be workbench too, because, I well, either way, <clears throat> how do you make linen? Let's see about upgrading the workbench. So we need like workbench three maybe? Which we can do, okay, so we have 
Where did our bars go? We've got three. We need to smelt more stuff. There we go. We'll do that. Oops. Okay. We really only need one of these. And then we are going to upgrade <clears throat> this thing. All right. So now, <clears throat> now we can do linen cloth out of palm. There we go. So that's what I was thinking palm was useful for. So we've got five of those, and we're going to need that for our armor. Oh, at Rogue Station 2, it's all linen cloth. And if we look at that, if we were just to do a set, we need four plus three plus four plus three. So that's six plus eight. So that's 14. <coughs> and it takes three palm to get one of those. So 14 times three, we got about 30, 40, 42. There you go. So we need 42 pieces of palm to get this set. And then here we've got two, wait, wait, four, two, four, two. So that's eight plus four. So we got 12 by three, so 36. So either way, you can see how exponential it gets expensive to get like an entire set. Interesting. Now they give you all of these options. Like, <laughs> then you go to the specialized place. Now all of these are just for rogues. Oh. You need to be a higher level to use this thing. Also, that sea sapphire is from the frozen places, which we haven't gone yet. So I guess... Hmm. Let's see. We do still need... We need some chests. Uh, there we go. Let's make a better chest. So now that we have, let's see, we can do this. We need two bars. That's going to be a problem. Like we only have the one bar in the forge. And see, right now, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have to go get a bunch more iron ore. And then the more we want to build boxes out of those, because these are okay, but you notice you can only have, what, three times five, 15, 16 things in here. Which is weird that it has a 16, not 15, but anyways. <sighs> the bigger one will have a more storage. Let's see. So how are we doing on time? Okay, cool. Still just trying because like at any minute, like So, let's see. We'll just go get palm trees. What's this thing? Oops. Aloe seed. Okay. Let's just keep getting palms, I guess. Because we're going to need them. And then, so that that's what I was looking for, is like, what's the seed? to plant for a palm tree. So I think aloe is like where you see the palm leaves on the ground and it still gives you palm, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a game. Like, and, and you got to remember the people that made this game are people too. So they're on the other end, like being like, okay, what should we do here? What should we make this? Oh, we should make this this expensive or, oh, you should have to go here. You know, there's all the like entire job. Oh. This could be death if we didn't have this. <laughs> okay, so you just need to be careful of that. Wait, can we attack chickens? No. Okay. Palm fruit you can make. Oh, wait, let's actually test that theory. This looks like an aloe vera plant. It gives palm and... Fruit palm seed? Ooh, fruit palm. So that could get the palm fruit and then aloe. So they all get like the palm fronds or the leaves, it looks like, but then... Oh yeah. Got him. Ooh, and we can get yellow portal shards. Let's do that too. So we're planting a bunch of this stuff. 
But we need to get yellow portal shards. So let's do some battle. Ah! Ah! I was gonna say that one got me. Oh. <laughs> you gotta try to avoid the electric little bubbles. Let's see, where are we, how are we doing? Ah! We need storage, that's the thing. I'm starting to get. Yep. <laughs> we need storage in order to do that. Let's place some things here. So, like. There we go, now we just have a fountain, and like all these things. It does look like the British Museum, we just stole all these artifacts from all of these civilizations, but basically... Alright, so we now have enough for a portal. Well, let's just go ahead and keep fighting. Because now, I mean, we need better armor, that's the problem. And until we get the linen, which we make from beach palm stuff, which we now have 19 on us, and we haven't even really started to collect that stuff. Actually, yeah, let's do more of that. Just constantly be collecting everything you can. And then, you know, you're completing all of these tasks and these puzzles. Oh, oh, and there's the alarm. Yeah, we'll call that good for now. So we yeah, we started getting into the musings, but I mean honestly, we're, <laughs> we're we're well on our way to beating this game. Like, it is a fun game. It's a simple game, but there's a lot to be explored in here. So. All right, all right, on to other things. I need to go, actually, real quick, let's go see if we can find where I lost that battle. I was gonna say, hopefully they should still just have those portals. Oh, they, they disappear real quick, Never mind. I forget that about that, but we can do this. No yellow portal shards? Interesting. How about you? No? Okay, either way, I mean, now that we've got palms, we can start... Oh, I gotta go. I'll talk. 